to the morning. You saw in the intro, just before this clip, starts off showing all of the boats at the boat launch there. So the last place we wanted to go was back to the bridges, because I'm sure that's where 90% of them are. So we came there to fish some, some pollen, some old abandoned pollens here, and uh, try to get away from the traffic. There's a few boats over here too, surprisingly. Missed one right there. It's drifting all up and in and out of these pylons. That was about a 16 inch fish. It's kind of bumped it out in the middle of nowhere. You never know where your bites are going to come from. Sometimes they're all up and tight to the pylons, sometimes they're way out, way off the end of the runways, sometimes they're out in the middle of nowhere in between different pylons, like that last one was right there. It's got a fan cast. Usually the bigger ones are gonna be buried up in the pylons, up in close. And that's any of the pylons that we fish around here. If you look at some of our old dockside TVs, we fish a lot of abandoned camp piers. Oh, we want the oldest piers we can find with the most barnacles. Treated just like a bridge pylon. There he is. Came across a good school right here, fishing a, an area I hadn't fished in uh, many, many moons. Long, long time. Pull up. I was catching, I was catching some fish deep a little bit earlier. If you look at one of our older dockside episodes from a month or two ago, we were catching them in a choke point, but uh, I figured now with the, you know, it's warming up a little bit, maybe they're spreading out on some shorelines, got a rock barrier right here, got the wind blowing into the rocks, pulled out a pop of cork, first cast, they were smacking my cork. I was like, what is going on here? Sure enough, it was little trout, you know, 12 to 16 inches hitting the cork, then they found the lure and we about to get on them. There he is. Good fish. Good fish. I don't know what's really going on here holding the fish. I can see a little bit of grass line up on these rocks. But most of the bites are coming way off the rocks as I get closer to the boat. I'm using our matrix float, titanium wire, that's our oval, with our shrimp creole colored TKO shrimp, and they are annihilating it. So when you catch a fish on this TKO, what it does a lot of times is the line will run up through the lure, and when that happens, you just simply thread the hook back where it goes. I got a hard southeast wind this morning. I'm throwing it with the wind, back towards a, a rock barrier. And I don't know if the wind's blowing some bait up against these rocks, forcing these fish into a school in a frenzy, closer to the rocks or what. We're gonna try 
the deeper side of the rocks. Right now we're on the in inside part of the rocks. And it's just been really, really crowded out here the last couple of weeks, especially on the common areas like the bridges. So today we've just been bouncing all around, started off on the hospital wall, fishing the pylons and such. Caught a few there, nothing special. Had a lot of boats there, which is odd. Came down by the cedar shoreline. Caught a few on there. Nothing special. Then we hit that choke point I was just talking about, close to the chef. Caught a couple there. And then when I threw the cork, when I came down the shoreline here and started throwing a cork at these rocks, and the fish were actually hitting the cork, I was like, turn the camera on. Might be happening. Might be happening. Another trout. Another trout on that TKO. That's a little short. That's common this time of year. Let me get it back out here. Well, a power pole would certainly be nice right now. Fish on, fish on. Fish on. TKO shrimp. Matrix float. Wear them out. Got an incoming tide right now. Up against, I mean, it's um, it was a light fall in the daylight. It started coming in, we got in this cove, started wearing them out. Water clarity's pretty good, about a seven. We're getting into that early part of the summer, late spring, and these trout are starting to get on shorelines and shallower places. I mean, they got some fish in there, buddy. They got some fish in there. You never know till you try it. Not a boat in sight, and there was a hundred boats at the boat launch this morning. Watching the getting to watch that court go under, watching these silver beauties dunk it. Nobody around. Just totally awesome. Daddy of the day right here. Oh yeah. There we go. He choked that TKO down. Choked it. And the whole trick to a cork, cork fishing, it's not that I need this lure off the bottom or anything like that. It's that cork's gonna make a noise to get these fish's attention. It sounds like a shrimp skipping across the water. That's why we really like using shrimp imitations a lot when we're using this cork. Over at matrixshed.com, we, we love our corks, the titanium wire matrix floats, and we're big fans of the Four Horsemen's that we carry on there also. What I like to do when I'm popping a cork though is I really like to pop it in a downward position. Like pop, 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 and then let it pause. Let that shrimp, it's gonna flutter up, and then when you kill it, it's gonna slowly flutter back to the bottom, or flutter down. Not to the bottom, shall I say, but back down. And under a cork, this TKO shrimp looks very, very natural when it's fluttering back down. So the cork's going to make a sound like it's jumping out the water. And then when the fish is get, that's going to get the fish's attention. And then when they look for it, they're going to see that shrimp slowly fluttering back. And they really do like that lure.
in that presentation. There he is. They got some fish on here, I tell you what. They got some fish on here. Decent fish, too. Most of them are keepers. Most of them are keepers. This one's close. Put him on the stick. You saw in the beginning of this intro how many boats were at the boat launch. And when I see that, when I'm leaving, if there's a gazillion boats, I'm going to avoid all of the high traffic areas. And I'm just going to try some crazy stuff. Because there's nothing better than finding something and you got it all to yourself. Like we did just now. I was catching these fish in an area I've never really... I mean, I haven't fished this in so long. And when I do, I'm usually on the other side of the rocks but I think there's a grass vegetation down there now in this cove and it's holding some fish holding a good bit of fish when cork fishing you really never want to try to throw into the wind a cork is a fantastic technique to cover a lot of water and when you throw with the wind you can make really long casts. Did I get him? Oh, I missed him. You can make really long casts in really shallow water and be really stealthy in the boat. You throw with the wind. There's just so much friction between the cork and the and the lure itself that it can really bog it down. You're gonna get three times the distance in your cast throwing with the wind. We're using our matrix uh, silky string here. This stuff's a hybrid for crappie fishing or s trout fishing. It's very delicate. It's a thin line, but it's good for popping a cork on school trout. And it's excellent for when we're pan fishing also. It's not really made for if you're catching big trout or redfish. It is kind of light but when you're catching these puppies right here it is perfect good fish like this baby right here Woo! I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dockside TV fish in a windy cove and a rock structure using our matrix float titanium wire just so you know what that means, that means it is indestructible. You can bend this thing, chew on it, stomp on it, it comes right back to shape. Our shrimp creole, TKO shrimp. Catching beautiful silver, whoa! Beautiful silver wonders like this right here. Having a blast, putting some fish in the boat. Make sure to subscribe to our monthly bait box to get some of these products in that we've been using today. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, Dockside TV. Check out all of our episodes from deep water jigging, top water fishing, or Matrix TKOs underneath a cork. Until next time, good fishing.